I'm not sure what it is that happens when I get on the road north of Geraldton as you're heading towards Northampton. It's such a spectacular piece of road and one of my favourite areas to drive. And it's really got something to do with this amazing weather landscape, these mounts as you go along, and the fact that it opens up all of the northwest of WA. This is the beginning of the northwest and so beautiful. Something to really take in and enjoy as you drive to our next stop, which is Northampton. My first stop for Wildflowers, halfway between Geraldton and Northampton, is Okabella Road. On the east side of the highway, along the side of the dirt track, are hidden gems many people miss. Make sure you stop, get out, and take a walk through the bush here. This is a hot spot for Dampira, yellow cowslip orchids, and sundews, which are very unusual. And take a look at these tassels, stunning. On the ocean side of the Great Northern Highway, the magnificent view of Elephant Hills. And if you're game, calling for lunch at one of Australia's most haunted homesteads, Okabella, a favourite stop for caravans. And then it's back on the road to Northampton. Northampton's a beautiful little town, about 50 k's north of Geraldton. Now, it was founded back in 1864, and originally it was the hub, if you like, of the agricultural district here, a very important agricultural district producing wheat. But it was actually a little bit after the establishment that they discovered copper nearby and built a copper mine. Not long after that, they built a lead mine as well. Now, it's not the amazing history of this town that we've come here for today. It's the beautiful wildflowers. It's a beautiful little town with lots of historical buildings. The most important one, the visitor centre. Stop here, tap into some local knowledge, and then onwards. Past the district's rolling farmland where lupin, wheat, and canola are stunning at this time of the year, stop off at Port Gregory, a natural harbour protected by a reef system. The water here, the white sand, the beaches, amazing. This is very much a secret and very few West Aussies have discovered it. It's also home to this stunning piece of our state's history. This was the convict hiring station set right in the heart of farming country. And then its most famous attraction, the Pink Lake, something you just have to see for yourself. But whilst tourism sites like these are here all year round, shows like this have a limited season. Now, when you take the coastal drive from Port Gregory through to Kalbarri, think of something a little bit different when it comes to wildflowers. Not so much carpets of wildflowers, but just stunning shrubs that are just a mass of flower. And you get things like hakeas and grevilleas and these beautiful schultzias and thryptamines. They might seem quite familiar because many of the improved forms of these, compact forms, are available as house plants to grow in your garden. But these ones, when they hit their straps right along this coastal strip, it's just something so special, something you've got to experience for yourself. I'm only 20 minutes down to Calberry from here, but I might spend a little bit more time admiring the flowers.